Okay, welcome to the Bookmap Platform Details webinar. This is Bruce at Bookmap Risk Disclaimer. Trading equities and futures involves substantial risk of loss. is not suitable for all investors. Past performance is not necessarily indicative of future results. Uh, for more information, go to bookmap.com. There is a free 14-day trial period. It comes with education. Uh, you get the Bookmap Educational Course, uh, as well as the uh, access to the advanced order flow webinars uh, in the live market that start in about uh, 25 minutes. Okay, and uh, there are other resources as well. And uh, then reach out to us at support at bookmap.com uh, if you have any questions. Okay. All right. Let's take a quick look at bookmap.com uh, and uh, kind of scroll through it here. Uh, just an intro video here uh, under the about section uh, and then uh, some text uh, and uh, some of the uh, features, uh, what the platform is and the benefits here. Uh, button here to, uh, to try. Testimonials, uh, bookmap for equities, there's bookmap NASDAQ total view. Uh, you can access all U.S. equities via that uh, data feed. And then connectivity. So this is important. This is where... Uh, you, this is how you're going to be able to connect a book map uh, to the live markets. Okay, we are a software platform, uh, financial trading platform, uh, not a data provider. Uh, however, we do connect also to a few other uh, platforms like NinjaTrader, TTX Trader Pro, and uh, Interactive Brokers Workstation. Uh, these are platforms as well, but we connect via the API. So you have uh, uh, that option, or just connect directly to the markets like using CQG, Rhythmic, Gain, IQ Feed, Transact, or uh, Dev Experts for, for NASDAQ, okay? So um, uh, that's that. Then uh, pricing, okay? So uh, for that 14-day free trial period, uh, this is uh, uh, where you can find uh, or subscribe to Bookmap. Uh, there's a basic, advanced, and quant versions. Um, the uh, uh, basic version is really the only one there is. Uh, it's 49 per month billed quarterly. Uh, you get that 14-day trial period, though, or go with the advanced. Now, the difference between those two are the add-ons, okay, the add-on add features. Okay? Uh, the uh, one-click trading, uh, trade right from the chart, which is an advantage. You can see the evolution of all of your trading. Uh, it's all recorded on Bookmap in, in the... Uh, uh, on the chart. So this is a, a real nice advantage. Okay, it's excellent also for debriefing your uh, trading activity. Uh, as well as um, uh, being able to read the liquidity heat map in front of you and react to it with your trading. And that, that's truly the advantage uh, that uh, uh, the one-click trading offers. Okay, because you can front run high liquidity or, or hide stops behind areas of high liquidity. Proprietary indicators we've put together uh, to start to note uh, larger players, okay, with a large lot tracker or iceberg detector. Uh, and then order book and balance uh, indicators, uh, as well as volume and balance indicators, okay, and a correlation tracker. Okay, those are the main features. Uh, quants, uh, you can um, uh, click here uh, and uh, contact us uh, to... Uh, so we can meet your specific needs. You're going to have specific needs for data feeds and uh, proprietary indicators, etc. Okay, so now if you are new to uh, futures and you don't have um, a way to connect to the futures market, that's okay. You can click here. There are offerings for free uh, trials of, uh, of data feeds, so you can click here. And uh, if you can't decide uh, which version here or the differences between the two versions, uh, you can click here for the complete list. All right. Social media, you can follow us on Twitter uh, at bookmap underscore pro. Uh, and then uh, you can see here, for example, uh, uh, this is a ver uh, image here of, and this is the ES, okay. Yeah. Um, you can see the uh, colored heat map here, okay. This is actually uh, coming out in a new version of bookmap uh, that's going to be out uh, in mid-January. Okay. It's also going to connect to cryptocurrencies uh, and have historical data as well. So a lot of new features coming out in that new version. Uh, we're really excited about it. Uh, new indicators as well. Uh, great, great stuff. And um, uh, yeah, really, uh, 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 it's going to offer uh, 
some advantages that you're going to be able to see in the heat map, for example, uh, subtleties in, in the liquidity. Okay, the um, uh, YouTube page, there's all sorts of videos on our YouTube page you can subscribe to. Uh, there's uh, there's uh, these intro videos here, uh, features and components, uh, understand what uh, bookmap is uh, uh, about uh, or how to use it. And then these order flow video snippets, uh, they're concise videos that go through order flow phenomena. Now this order flow phenomena is what we go through in detail in the um, uh, the live uh, advanced uh, order flow analysis webinars, okay, in, the, in about 20 minutes. Uh, that is for current customers or people in trial. All right, so that's that. Uh, let's take a look at Bookmap. I wanted to show you guys here uh, something, uh, a lot of excitement around uh, Bitcoin, uh, and here is Bitcoin uh, in Bookmap. Okay, now this isn't, um, uh, the offering we're gonna have is gonna be um, uh, quite a bit different than this. This is through the CME, as you can see, okay? Uh, and um, uh, there is very, very little liquidity in this market. Okay, there's, we're talking, we can see over here in this, uh, in the column, in the dome uh, in Bookmap, the COB column here for current order book. <laughs> you can see there's just one contract at several levels here, and there, there's lots of uh, uh, gaps, okay? So there's going to be all sorts of uh, wide spreads here. You can see the spread is, uh, well, between, for the most part, it's usually around uh, uh, $50 or so uh, in the spread but uh, very, very lightly traded right now. Okay, it's a new product for the CME, uh, but um, uh, we, uh, as you can, you can, you can ask, um, uh, you can uh, access uh, Bitcoin right now if you have a CBOE or a CME um, uh, connection, okay? The, um, the offering we're gonna have is gonna be different. It's gonna be through GDAX, uh, and there's a tremendous amount uh, more of liquidity and volume uh, in that market, okay, or in that exchange. Uh, so it's going to be a really nice uh, advantage uh, using uh, uh, the cryptocurrencies with Bookmap. Uh, there are some other advantages as well, uh, kind of like Forex, where you're able to really scale uh, your um, uh, uh, your orders. Um, uh, you know, instead of uh, you know one lot, uh, which is uh, heavily Leveraged, you can go with uh, a tenth of that and scale into positions, etc. All right. Okay. Um, let's jump in and take a look at NASDAQ. We've been looking at that uh, for uh, several weeks now and uh, getting a feel for what's going on. You can see it's a down day today. Uh, and I um, just want to go through here the, the basics uh, because uh, we have a lot of new uh, users in the room here or uh, uh, new attendees, I should say, and uh, welcome. Uh, so let's just go through it. What is Bookmap showing here? Okay, this looks really foreign compared to a lot of the charts that are out there. Okay, now we have an indicator sub-panel here, but uh, I'm gonna close that up. We're just gonna go through the basics. There are three elements here on the Bookmap chart, and that's it, okay? Uh, and uh, let me show you what they are. Okay, and I'm gonna show you with a candlestick chart in a minute. Uh, but uh, we're going to take off all of this other uh, data here, okay? And the uh, first uh, piece of data here is historical best bid and offer. That's it, okay? So um, there's no candlestick. There's no aggregation here, all right? I'll get to that in a minute. Uh, but uh, that's the first element that we're displaying <clears throat> here in the chart. Second element is the volume. Okay. with these volume dots. The dots are showing you exactly where the volume traded. Okay, You can see the color of the dots also has significance. A uh, big red dot like this uh, is uh, selling. Okay, Aggressor classification of volume uh, is uh, where it's a market sell order. Okay, a Green dot is a market buy. Okay, So uh, here's a, a big dot that has both buying and selling in it. Okay, let's zoom into this area and I just want to show you a little bit about what Bookmap is showing you, okay, with historical best bid and offer uh, and that traded volume. Here's what really occurred, okay. If I zoom in, note how I'm breaking apart all of that trade activity and we have every single uh, event that took place here in the market, 
Okay, this is actually uh, one event here. Uh, we're down at nanosecond level, as you can see here. We've zoomed into billions of seconds. And uh, this is one trade for volume of 41. Okay, that's what occurred here. Okay, at that uh, very uh, low subsecond time frame. Okay, now as I zoom back out though, okay, and compress this timeline, what I'm doing is I'm starting to just visually aggregate all of this data for you, okay, or book map is, and then uh, you can see that it gives you the overall shape of that volume. Okay, so this occurred really quickly. We're looking at a second now between each vertical dotted line, uh, and this is what happened. Okay, so we can use the data tip tool, hover over this dot, and we can see that the volume was 89. We get the date, the time, what was on the bid uh, here, uh, and then the volume that traded. So 89 contracts traded here. 41 of them, at, at minimum, we know, uh, was one individual uh, event and uh, for 49 or 41 contracts. Okay, so that's the volume. Uh, that's how it's being displayed. Uh, and that's how it's being displayed on the historical best bid and offer. Okay, now there's one more element here on the chart uh, that uh, uh, book map displays, and that is the limit order book. Okay, so actually if I zoom in here, Okay, we can see the order book here. Okay, this is our price ladder, and this is the uh, the current order book, the dome, your depth of market. Uh, these are contracts here uh, on the offer uh, at these price levels, and uh, uh, they want to sell. These are willing sellers. They want to provide liquidity up here. Down here, we have the uh, the buyers. Okay, uh, and um, the uh, and these these numbers change all day long. Okay, so. We actually um, are able to show uh, the same data here graphically in this window here. This is the same, this is a dome as well. It's just a graphical representation of the numeric values in the dome here. And we paint the, the uh, areas of high liquidity as bright white. So just graphically, we can understand the majority of where the players are. Okay, up here at 6,500, which is always the case for the most part when you're talking about uh, significant numbers like that. Uh, and then down here, you can see them on the bid. Uh, and uh, uh, at this uh, uh, 64.95 and three quarters. Okay, so uh, now that heat map here, uh, when it's generated by the, the large liquidity or the adding and pulling of liquidity, uh, it's recorded and it's, it's plotted onto the chart historically here. Okay, so we have the um, current order book and the historical order book. And uh, that's these are the three elements that are on the book map chart. And that's it. Okay, now understanding this and reading it and putting it into context uh, is um, uh, uh, what we go through in detail uh, in the next webinar. Uh, but uh, we can go through some of it here, just the basics, and start to understand uh, what's going on. Okay, so I'm going to use a candlestick chart for the moment uh, to uh, uh, to show you, okay, uh, and some of the problems uh, and, and misconceptions here or lack of transparency with the candlestick. Okay, we're looking at five minutes between each uh, candle, uh, and it's only the only data that you're getting on that candlestick chart is open, high, low, and close, and that's it. Four data points. Okay. You can start to maybe read the, the, the pressures here with the wicks and the bodies, but you don't know uh, all sorts of data here. It's all just, it's not on the chart. Uh, and uh, But here it is in book map. For example, we know exactly uh, what comprises this selling uh, candle here. Okay, So, uh, for example, this is where uh, we opened right here. Okay. It went up for just a couple ticks, and then it, and then it went down. And we're starting to understand microstructure within the candlestick. Okay, that's a really important aspect uh, that's just shown so simply with the historical best bid and offer. Okay, because uh, look at this um, uh, significant low here, over here, and how we come down and test it a few times, and then finally break through. 
Okay. We know exactly how how it broke, uh, the volume that traded as it broke down through, uh, you know, the uh, the structure uh, that was, uh, we see lots of little microstructures here. Uh, there's one here, uh, then there's one here as well, uh, and then we broke down below a bigger structure. Okay. And then you can see we based down here for a bit, and then we came back up and tested uh, even higher than where we broke from. So this is actually kind of bullish uh, to test up uh, to, and we just saw the test up into 6,500 here. Okay, uh, but uh, you know, so the pullback was uh, was pretty good. Uh, you know, usually you see the pullback to where you broke from around this area here. But in this in this case, it came all the way up to 65. 100 and actually 01, uh, uh, you know, so a, another four ticks higher. Now, the within this one candle here, there's all sorts of uh, uh, trade events that took place, and uh, you you just wouldn't have that understanding uh, even in a footprint chart. Uh, if you're looking at uh, a bar uh, that's aggregated, uh, that's the problem. You're looking at an aggregated view. Uh, of price, and uh, you're not able to see the uh, the small events that took place, uh, and um, uh, get an understanding of, for example, uh, these little structures that are broken. But then, how about the volume? W where did the volume trade? Okay, now your footprint chart will show you that, and it's obviously it's going to show you the majority of it traded down here. Uh, I mean, we can just see the lopsided uh, selling down below this um, uh, 65 or this 64.99 level here, uh, and um, uh, a, a lot of uh, aggressive selling here. Okay, and then uh, the, the uh, we broke the structure here, and you can see how they lifted the offer. Okay, with the buying, the buying came in, and uh, nice, nice move to the upside. Uh, you know, pretty quick. Uh, and um, yeah, a lot, a lot of buyers are starting to step in here now too. Okay, but understanding this cluster of volume within a microstructure gives us a lot of insight and that's what's lacking here in the candlestick okay so uh, that's the um, uh, problem with that candle with that aggregation and the volume not being able to show where when how much and what type of volume uh, and uh, we can we can see it all here uh, within uh, within book map the um, uh, the other aspect here uh, is what's going on outside of the transactions. Okay, the the the, uh, the auction. Okay, where are they bidding and offering? And uh, if we have a dome, we we have that view uh, for the current market, but we don't have a history of it. Okay, so now what? Having this recording of that dome, uh, I'm able to start to understand the auction at much, much higher time frames. Okay. I can see that uh, down in these areas here that, uh, you know, uh, buyers started to step in, okay, uh, early on actually, uh, and, you, and you can see them. Uh, and we drop down below that level uh, and, um, uh, you know, we can uh, start to understand where, where they're lining up to trade. And we're talking about larger players here, not just, uh, you know, the dome for like a few ticks or a point or, or so. Uh, here they are up here, okay, on the offer, okay? So the sellers are up here between 02 and 04, okay? Where are they on the uh, on the bid? Well, uh, they're, they're starting to show interest down, down at some of these levels here, around uh, 93, and then at 95, they're just starting to jump in. Okay. So we're able to put the context together of the traded volume, the transactions, uh, the microstructures, and how, how that volume is relating within those structures, uh, and then the interest uh, on the bid and on the offer with the current and the historical book. All right, so it's a, a pretty complete view of the marketplace here. Uh, and uh, understanding the context of this uh, is, um, is 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 going to allow you uh, the, that that sort of transparency that's going to offer more insightful uh, trading decisions. Okay, so for example, well, what do we see right now? Well, okay, we broke up, we broke down below a 99, 
But uh, look at, we, we, we came right back up and tested into this area. Okay, nice cluster of selling down here. Well, here's a retest of that cluster. We didn't even break the low, not yet, okay? And how much selling was down here? Uh, it's, it's not bad, but there's buying on the other sides here too, okay? So, um, uh, you know, something's gonna ha something's starting to shape up right now. Uh, but uh, at the moment, we can just tell by the uh, the book as well. Like they, they, they're not, you know, trying to sell down at these lower levels down here. They're up here, okay? So, you know, that's where we can come up and test. Uh, and, and we have that potential here. Right now, we, we see there it's basically on both sides. There's volume on both sides. And, uh, and we're, we're channeling between higher levels of liquidity up here at between 02 and 04, and then down here around this uh, 94 level. Okay. All right, so let's zoom in here because we, we're starting to see some, some pretty big volume come in here. But uh, uh, what kind of clarity do we have on that volume? There, there's really none. Uh, it's pretty equal across the board here. Okay, they're, they're, and they're right in the middle. I mean, it's just right in the middle of this, uh, of this range. Okay, we're looking for insight that will give us uh, understanding of a break of that range uh, and continuation or a break of that range and trade back into the mean here. Okay. Look at look at the uh, profile here. Uh, really nice single distribution, um, indicative of a range bound market. Uh, these are your tails. Uh, you'd, you'd short the tails, look for a trade back into the range, or maybe to the other side of the range. Okay, as you guys know that uh, are in the uh, advanced order flow webinars, we we have uh, a few different strategies looking for exactly that. Uh, and uh, right now, it's. Um, uh, there, there really is no read. Uh, it's um, waiting for someone to uh, to get committed here on one side or the other. Okay, and uh, let's take the candlesticks off. Uh, and uh, we're not getting uh, any sort of commitment whatsoever right now. Okay, so this is just range bound. Uh, if you wanted to trade that, I mean, you you would have to take the risk here at this point uh, to uh, uh, trade it back into the middle of the range. Uh, there could be selling that that does come in and hit the bid pretty hard, uh, but um, uh, you know uh, the safer bet or the safer strategy would be to wait for and you can you can just watch it and see it uh, the uh, aggressive selling here to kind of exhaust out and wait for the buyers to step in on the other side. Okay, and that's that's kind of what happened here. There's a little bit of uh, volume down here, so uh, but you can see the the buyers here they're lifting the offer, okay? So they're coming in. And uh, and usually this is the, the understanding this order flow change, we're looking for at least a cha uh, uh, right back into the middle of the range. Uh, and then it's gonna be a battle at that most traded level here around this 97 and a half area. Uh, and, uh, and then there's potential to come to the other side of the range if the buyers took control here. And we just got insight to that right here, okay? So look at this, these areas of exhaustion up here. There, there's no buying up here, okay? The sellers read that and they start to hit the bid, okay? And they just did, all right? Now, uh, that's the uh, volume within a range, but we also wanna understand the auction within a range and what's their behavior. And I don't see much behavior right now. Uh, you know, they're, they're uh, kind of, up at these levels and adding and pulling, uh, we do see that um, uh, they pulled here at 95, okay? Uh, and um, uh, we just saw the follow through to the downside. It's too bad I, I wanted to cover this. Uh, when they start pulling, okay, at some of these levels, well, it means that uh, the market uh, uh, can trade lower to find higher liquidity. And that's exactly where it just went, it just went, okay? Because they pulled here. Okay, they had no intent to trade. The, these guys at this 95 level did not have intent to trade. Okay, they pulled. Okay, and then here, here's our, our skew in the auction here. This is what we were looking for earlier. Understand that uh, 119 contracts just came in, and this is the same pattern as we just saw, uh, looking for uh, uh, the exhaustion and the return back into the middle of the range here, maybe to the other side. Uh, looks like it, it, it really wants to trade to the other side now. Okay, so it looks like maybe 6,500 is the target right now. Okay, uh, and um, 
uh, all of these sellers are going to be trapped, right? Okay, and we'll see. We need to. We need remember our point of control here. Okay, we're right at it, and we're we're battling here at that point of control. Okay, but uh, this is a lot of buying here, a lot of buying pressure. So uh, that this is still very much on the table to come up and test this 65 level. Maybe we just need another rotation here. Okay, uh, a few questions here. Um, okay, Edson, uh, yeah, you're looking for um, uh, areas of absorption, uh, and then um, and and what what Edson's uh, mentioning here is the this this liquidity heat map. Okay, the liquidity in the in the dome did it trade or not? Okay, or did they pull? Okay, and this is a big problem with um, uh, understanding the dome uh, because uh, uh, it, it's um, it, in the dome these numbers change so quickly. Uh, but we really want to understand uh, if the stay in the in the order book here uh, and they and they actually trade. Did they have the intent to trade or did they pull? Okay. Uh, uh, Geraldo, um, uh, it will work on a Mac. Uh, Bookmap works on a map. It just uh, will work on a, uh, a Mac running in uh, uh, Parallels or uh, Boot Camp or whatever it is. Okay, so it's uh, it basically runs on a PC or on a Mac that is simulating PC. There, there we have many uh, traders that that do that. Uh, IQ feed, yep, we support IQ feed. No problem there. Uh, let's see, uh, Leon, um, can one use this period's other, no, uh, this is, we're, we're, we're basically time-based here, um, uh, Leon, there's, there's no kind of, uh, aggregation in terms of Renko bars or reversal bars or range bars, um, and, um, uh, uh, that's actually a benefit, uh, because, uh, uh, you know, we're able to, we're showing every single event. There's no aggregation. Okay. So that's what allows us to zoom into these levels and see every single event and, you know, look at how these markets trade algorithmically. Okay. Down at, we're at microsecond level, millions of seconds. Okay. And we can zoom out really quickly uh, and notice the little, little spoof right here. Okay. So this goes back to uh, Edson's question. Uh, we're, uh, Want, he wanted to know about uh, an area if it was absorbed, okay? And I'm just going to make a quick distinction here. Look how this skew in the book here, right here, very, very high liquidity, okay? Uh, 68 contracts popped into the book, and and uh, and the sellers jumped in as well, and uh, and price uh, moved down uh, about a tick or tick and a, I mean, a point, point and a half. Uh, and then they pulled out, and the market went right back up. Okay, these guys had no intent to trade at this level. Okay, this is this is uh, like spoofing type of activity here. Okay, you're able to just—it's all recorded here, so you can see it. Anyway, uh, areas that are uh, absorbed. Uh, no, this area was not absorbed down here. This was—you um, can see them pulling here as well. Okay, so I hope that answers your question uh, uh, there, um, uh, Edson. It, you know, it's an interesting thing. Um, the um, Although they pulled down here, uh, now I'm going to turn on the iceberg detector uh, because I'm looking for maybe icebergs down in this level here, but actually I don't, I, I see a little bit, but there's not much. But uh, this is going to be trap volume because they look how they jump in here and had intent to trade here at 93 and a half. Okay, and they trade right into it right here. Okay, and they stayed in the book. So these guys wanted to be buyers here. And, uh, and you can see the reaction that that had on price. Okay, pretty strong reaction, All right? Okay, so uh, yeah, you can see our trade to the other side of the range, nice one. Uh, and uh, uh, that's what we were looking for a little earlier, but uh, we had one more nice rotation, no absorption, uh, skew in the book, and a nice move to the other side of the range here. All right, All right guys, so let's, let's call it a, a day here, and uh, if you're in the uh, advanced webinar, I'll see you over there.